Welcome to an introduction to Victorian straw millinery. Today we are going to build a simple version of a mid-1850s summer straw bonnet. We're going to need your straw hat. You will need 23 gauge millinery wire. We're going to need long pins, a needle obviously, thread, a six inch ruler, a set of needle nose wire cutters, and a pair of scissors. Now before we start, there are a few terms that you need to be familiar with. Now, all hats have three parts. Uh, the first part is the brim, and that's the floppy part of your base hat, and that will be made into the stiff part that will frame your face. Now the next area is the crown, and that's the part that goes around your head. And then lastly, the tip, and this is the part that covers the crown. Now these terms are going to be used a lot over the next little bit, so it's important to be familiar with them. Well, now we're ready to start building our bonnet. I'll place your hat in front of you, and we need to determine where the bottom of your crown is. And the way you do this, if you look at the very top of your hat, you'll notice that the crown bottom is usually a lot wider than the crown top. So this is the bottom of your crown. Put a safety pin at the break between the crown and the brim, uh, just to make sure that that mark is in there and it's good and secure. With the bottom crown, see right there, at the back of your head, you need to set your hat back on your head a little bit. We're going to find where the edges of your brim are going to be. So to do that, you'll see that there's a break in between the crown and the brim. Just run your fingers along that edge of the break until you come to your top of your ear. And mine's right about there. And we're gonna mark that piece with a pin. And then we're going to turn around and do the same thing on the other side. And that's about where the top of my ear is. And then we're going to pull the brim down onto your face so it lines up nicely with your jaw. You see where my, my jaw bone or my, my jaw line comes there? And my finger's right on about where that line needs to be. So we're going to put another pin there and switch around on the other side. And we're going to do the same thing. Now what you've done is marked where the bottom of your brim is going to be. So there's the very bottom, and then this will be the part that lines up at the ear. All right, so right there, right there, and on the other side, there and there. Now take your hat off and place it back on your work table with the bottom of the crown facing you. Remember that little mark right there? You want that to face you on the table. It's connect the two marks on the left-hand side of your hat, one here and one here, and just make a little line so that you're, you're going to cut this so you know where to cut it. Now go over to the other side and do the same thing and make sure that the lines are approximately the same on either side. So it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be close enough. Now take an eyeball and does that look about the same mark from here to here as it is from here to here? And you can't see my lines very well, but there's a good green line there. And then there's another good green line there. Okay, now you're going to trim your straw along these two lines and around the bottom of your bonnet and it's going to give you a bit of a pie shape. Now you need to turn your hat around so that the top of the crown is facing you. So that's your top and this is what it's going to look like. Now you need to take a measurement between here and here, and that's going to determine the size of your brim. Brims of this period are usually between three and a half to four and a half inches. So we're gonna measure, 
and this one is four inches exactly. If your brim is too long, just take work this off through here and these will easily just pull off and just pull enough of the straw off of the edge of your hat until you get to around three and a half, four inches. So now we need to make the brim stiff, the outside of the brim stiff so that it doesn't flop in your face. And the way I'm going to do that is by using a piece of millinery or floral wire. So the first thing we need to do is provide a channel that we can put that millinery and floral wire in. On that leftover piece of straw, you'll see that I've pulled off enough length so that the straw will go around on the edge of my hat. So it, it, needs, it needs to go from the edge, from this edge to this edge. So we're gonna join these two pieces together. And the way you do that is just lay them on top of each other, give it a pin, and just sew it together with an over under stitch. Make sure that the curve of your straw matches on both pieces because we're going to fit this piece to the curve of your brim. Along the top edge of the brim, we're going to attach another layer of straw. And what's gonna happen is the wire is going to go in between this layer and this layer, and then your bonnet uh, brim will be nice and stiff. So just pin that and all the way around like so. And then you'll, you'll see where I, uh, where I said it was important to do it on the curve because everything fits nicely now. Now I'm going to uh, finish pinning this and then I'm going to take it over and sew it and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now you see where I've added the extra length of uh, straw and I've just put a little stitch with my sewing machine all along the edge here. And it needs to be as close to this edge as you can possibly get it because this is where you're going to take your millinery wire and I have a piece just cut here just right and it's going to slip in between these two pieces of straw. Now you can, you can pin it, you can clip it, whatever you want, uh, just to keep that in there. And then when that's finished and everything's in there nice and secure, then we're going to run another stitch along this edge all the way around the hat and it's going to enclose this piece inside the hat. Now, uh, one thing with millinery wire, it's, as you can see, it's pretty curly. So you're gonna have to straighten it out a bit. And if you happen to be using florist wire, florist wire comes straight. So you're gonna have to curve it a bit uh, just so that it fits into your brim. I like to use these clips because uh, number one, they don't cut up your straw. And number two, they're versatile that you can move them wherever you want. Now here we are coming up to the end and you literally, you see I've just pulled it uh, inside that channel, hold it down and clip it. Now one more. All right, now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to run another stitch along this edge and that will enclose the wire inside the brim of your hat. So now we have a nice stiff brim. You can see how it's not moving around or flopping at all. Okay, this is the time to check to see if you like the fit of your hat. So it looks fine from the front. Now we'll take a look at the side. Oh, okay, the side's a little high on me, but in this particular instance, we're gonna put a babelé on the back of this hat so we won't notice this funny little space in here. But basically, it should really sit about there and come down to here. And now that you're happy with the shape of your brim, it's time to finish off the edge. And the way that we do that is you take another piece of that straw that you pulled off of that scrap piece, and you're going to make it approximately the length of the edge of your brim. 
So then we're going to wrap it around the brim like so and stitch it down. Now that the edge of your brim is finished, it should look like this. So you see where I've wrapped a piece of straw around and then around the other side and back and I've sewn a seam along here and another seam along the far edge and that will enclose all your ratty ends. Now we have a completed brim. Now the next piece we need to address is the width of the crown. Now most bonnet crowns are between four and five inches in depth. So we need to measure from the bottom to the top and this one looks to be about four inches so we're okay. If your brim happens to be a little bigger all you need to do is and just take a row of straw out and then sew the tip back onto the crown of your hat. Now the next piece we're going to work on will be the top of your bonnet. Right now it's kind of floppy and it isn't very stiff so we're going to use wire to go around the inside of your bonnet and it'll make that sit up nice and tall and stiff. To do that, we're going to add another line of wire inside your bonnet, so around in here. Now cut a piece of wire just a little bigger than the inside of the crown, and you can do this by just fitting it. And when you've got it in there and you decide that's about the size you want, hold your edges together and when you pull it out, just tape these two pieces here together so that they don't move. Once you have your wire fit inside your hat, turn it over. Use some pins to hold the wire on the inside of your hat. And then once you have a shape that you like, we're going to sew that down. Notice I have the wire pushed up in that fold and then pins are holding it up inside uh, of the straw. So the next thing we're going to do is using an invisible stitch, we're going to run a stitch in here, out here, and then in and out all the way around and it's going to hold that wire into your hat. It takes a little bit of fussing to get that wire in there nicely, you can see where it is. I'll turn it over and this is what it'll look on the other side. Now if your tip happens to be a flat tip, uh, this dent won't be here, but for our case it's fine. Well, now that the wire is in, you can see that the bonnet has taken on that mid-Victorian 1850 shape. All finished and it's ready to be trimmed.